Qatar Energy agrees with Shell to acquire a stake in an offshore Mauritania project. The family of slain Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akhle celebrate what would have been her 52nd birthday. We're just days away from Gerangao and we have all the details for you here. And in sports, Tunisia's Faxian will take on Qatar SC at the King Salman Club Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar Energy has agreed with Shell to acquire a 40% working interest in the C10 block located offshore Mauritania. Shell, which is the operator, will hold a 50% interest, while Mauritania's SMH will hold a 10% interest. Qatar's Minister of State for Energy Affairs, Saad bin Sharid al Kabi, also the president and CEO of Qatar Energy, said he is excited for the project in Mauritania, which is positioned to become a hub for the world's energy supply. And now, the families and friends of slain Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akhle took to social media on Monday to celebrate what would have been her 52nd birthday, almost a year since she was killed by the Israeli occupation. In a heartfelt Instagram post, the late journalist's niece, Lina Abu Akhle, celebrated her aunt. Al Jazeera producer and Ramallah Rani Zabane remembered her late colleague while renewing calls for justice for the killing of Abu Akhle. Other social media accounts joined to note Abu Akhle's quote presence despite her absence, a common thought that has echoed among millions who grieve the major loss of the journalist. If you're looking for places to celebrate Gerangao, keep listening. Doha Fire Station's first ever Gerangao celebrations will happen this year with fun activities like painting on tote bags, henna, and more. For a chance to win a prize and gift vouchers worth up to 3,000 Qatari head over to Esmach Mall with your kids in their best Ganagao garments to compete in the best dress competition. But if you're looking for a little more adventure, Al Shegeb will deliver a night of tradition with Ganagao sweet collection, lantern making, sadu weaving, pony rides, and more. And finally, Tunisian club CS Faxian is set to play host to Qatar SC in their first leg match of the first qualifying round of the King Salman Club Cup on Monday. It will be held at the Stade Tayyib Mahiri with Qatar SC competing away in the first preliminary round of the tournament. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.